Now see, peer deeply inside the answer. See, well, what Sai Baba was announcing was he hadn't made up his mind yet why he did that, but he was very clear that he did it. He was very clear that he was the sponsor of and the creator of his own experience. But what he hadn't brought to his conscious mind yet, although he was clear that it existed somewhere in his creative sphere, maybe at the superconscious or supraconscious level, but it hadn't, he hadn't consciously decided yet why he did that. And Sai Baba knows that any time between that moment and the time of his death, he can assign a reason retroactively to that event and decide why he did that. And in deciding after the event why he did it, he actually gives it a reason in time and space that is applicable at the time that it occurred because, of course, time is an illusion. So his decision, even if it's 30 years later, applies to the moment at hand. Since there is only one moment at hand called right here, right now. Got it? So we as creative beings, as expressions of divinity itself, can decide after the fact why a certain thing was created by us. Now we're going to ask Bonnie to illustrate that very point. Bani, bani, bo, bani, banana, fana, fo, fanny, be, by, bo, bani, bani. Why did you create three people in your life with bipolar disorder? Well, that's why I paid my money to come to see you. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste of money. <laughs> Why did you create that, Bonnie? I always thought it was to learn something. Are you happy with that answer? Does that answer please you? I could really joke here, but I won't. Um, I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to learn that from wasn't, anybody. That wasn't my question, sweetheart. My question was, does that answer please you? Is that answer the answer you choose to give? Is that your final answer? No. <laughs> All right. I'm not happy with that answer. I didn't think you were. I could catch that by your tone of voice, which is why I asked the question. So now let's ask the question again. If there were an answer that you would be happy with, since you are the creator of your own reality, with regard to the question, why have you brought into your life three people with bipolar disorder, what would your answer be? for me to accept them and just love them as they are. Are you happy with that answer? Yes. That's the answer then. And that's why you did it and from this day forward you never have to ask yourself again, why is it like this? Why am I having this recurring experience? What's going on here? Because you now have the answer. And the only way you'll fall back into the frustration of why is this happening? Why am I doing this to myself? Would be if you rejected the very answer you gave yourself which, by the way, you are at will to do. But if you reject that answer at some future date, you will be invited by life to give yourself another answer. I've always thought Because it. there's no one else to answer the question. The answer exists nowhere in the universe except right there. God doesn't have the answer. I don't have the answer, although if you double your price, I could give you one. <laughs> Uh, 
I mean, I'll play. <laughs> See, ladies and gentlemen, there is a, an interesting idea going around. There's an idea going around the world that somehow an answer to any question exists outside of you. God has the answer. Somebody must have the answer. And here's the great revelation of this entire day. There is no answer to anything other than the answer you give it. I just had an epiphany. Terrific. You want to share it with me? Sure. Yeah. You're not going to charge me, are you? <laughs> fair is fair. <laughs> Yes, what's the epiphany? What you resist persists. And I have fought this all my life. I have fought it to try and help them or help them. Thank, thank you very much. My friends, I'm not boasting when I tell you that in retreat after retreat after retreat, in workshop after workshop after workshop, in seminar after seminar after seminar, in front of audience after audience after audience, this process has worked every single time, not once in a while, not now and then, every single time. Sometimes saving people years of psychoanalysis. There is no answer to any question that exists anywhere outside of you. My job is simply to get you to see that. Got it? Yes. I... <laughs> yes, Rich. <laughs>